What's up, my family? Listen, first time listener, or you've been here the whole damn time. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, giddy up, let's go, enjoy the clip, no notes. What are some, some of your fondest memories of, uh, of some of them teams, man? Well, I spent four years from 90 to 94 with the Phillies, so each year just got better. So can't put four years in, in 10 minutes. Um, all I can say is that I enjoyed myself and uh, I'm very <laughs> grateful. <laughs> you know, and, and the fondest memories, the most most uh, respectable memories, just being able to play uh, in, the, in the World Series. I mean, to win would have been awesome, but just to, even, you know, to be a part – a participant and to, to grow up where I come from, uh, I mean, that's just like uh, a dream. You can't you can't make that up. It's a dream come true. So being a part of that and being a part of the Philadelphia Phillies organization, uh, I mean, that's it. That's the way, uh, the way I can sum it up. You're here, man. Who's the greatest player, the greatest player you've ever played with or against? Man, come on, man. You got all these Hall of Famers, man. I mean, that's that's a real true thing. In question, your opinion. It's, it's not, it's not it's, you know. No, I did, but it's not. I mean, man, I played with Hall of Famers. There's no this that's what that's what's so great about this game. And there's no one person you can say he's the GOAT. You know, you play I played with Andre Dawson. I played with uh Darren Dalton. I played with I mean, all these guys. I you know, this it's can't I can't sit up here and say that. I mean, I played with some with some awesome men, I mean, okay. that I watched on television growing up and then got a chance to sit next to them and be a teammate. Come on, man. Can't make this stuff up. I mean, I was in, I was still in awe. I was still a fan <laughs> coming for this guy's job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you think he's going to help me? <laughs> do you, do you have mean, a favorite teammate? No, I don't. I mean, hey, Zach can... Wheeler's going for the complete game, bro. Hey, Phillies are up two nothing. His pitch counts one hundred one with one out in the top of the ninth. Doesn't happen all the time in baseball now anymore, yeah. right? So, yeah, right. Especially with Phillies pitchers. <laughs> I just have, yeah. a, I just have a level of respect for uh for all veterans because your elders are the ones that teach you the business and they teach you how to uh, pour into others. So out of all the veteran guys that I played with, they, they taught me, they gave to me. So it was my job to give back to the ones that was behind me. So those are the hall of famers. Those are the, every teammate that I played with. That's a veteran uh, that, that I played with on any major league roster, uh, definitely major league rosters. But some of the guys that was in the minor leagues, because we were, we were so like crabs trying to get that spot on the, on that major league roster. You just you got to you got to do what you got to do. Somebody, whatever it takes. That's how we come up with that whatever it takes attitude. So with that being said, I give all respect to all uh, all of the elder guys, uh, the guys who was before me. So I don't have one particular. I mean, Lenny Dykstra is is my guy. John Crook is my guy. Darren Dalton was my guy. Those were veterans to me. Them guys took me under the wings and they showed me how to be a professional. That's why you keep hearing me say professionals. They showed me what, you know, like, hey, this is how you got to carry yourself now. And it's like, oh, okay. You know, you just can't be out there. You know, there's a lot of things. That's why these guys right now today is getting so caught up in all the all of the social media. You know, they, they you know, it's, it's tough. <laughs> so what was it like going from that Philadelphia fan base to, to Boston? Like, 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 you know, I mean, obviously we, we have a lot of similarities for, for a lot of different reasons. What do you think the differences between the two fan bases when it comes to sports? Well, what's the difference from out of the frying pan to the skillet? Man? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a difference? <laughs> Just the type of pain you're going in. Just the type of pain you're going in. What, what's that? What you say, Zach? <laughs> it was much colder in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> there, I can say this: there is a real tea party. <laughs> <laughs> there is a real tea party in life. I mean, I put it to you like this: I know uh, everybody say their fans are the best and their fans are the, you know, the greatest. Uh, Philly, Philly base. I mean, I enjoy Philly base. I was able to connect. I was there longer. And uh, I started my, my major league career there. So I was there when we lost. I was there when we won. 
uh, with Boston. I was there. We went through the, uh, the, the same transition. I went through Butch Hobson and Kevin Kennedy, but I didn't uh, stay as long. So with that being said, I was uh, caught in the same uh, uh, rebuilding process, but didn't get the uh, opportunity to uh, to uh, enjoy the success uh, that I did in Philadelphia with Boston because I played with Conseco, Movon, and Roger and uh, Mike Greenwell, and we went to the playoff that year, but they took me off the roster, uh, Kevin Kennedy. So I didn't make that uh, playoff roster team. But the fan base, the people, when I got there, I guess I got traded for Billy. Billy. Uh, I was his uh, name. I forget. Billy Wright, uh, Ragnar, no, something. No, no, no. Left. Uh, oh, God. Outfield. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. He, was, he was a fan favorite. He was with Cincinnati. Good guy. I mean. We know each other. I was, I was looking at it earlier. I swear to God. <laughs> him, him and Paul Quintrell. Him and Paul Quintrell is who I got traded for. Uh, Hatcher, Billy Hatcher. There it is. That's Billy what Hatcher. it was. Billy Hatcher. And uh, Hatch, Hatch, great guy. He's a good contact kid. He fast, played outfield, all all positions. And he's a go getter. He's a gamer. Me, I was he's a power hitter. hitting coach in Angels, wasn't he? Yeah. And yeah, first base coach with Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah. He's still doing, he's still around in the game. And it's awesome. Uh, to uh, you know, come across guys like that, uh, and uh, it was just what it was, and they didn't like to the trade. Then uh, Duquette had had just came in as a GM, and I was his first trade, and I fell up under that 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 stigma. So with that, uh, I had a lot of negative press coming in. And then the people started liking me. Then the fans started taking a liking to me, and then uh, we had the uh, the, the manager change with uh from hop hop which hobson to kevin kennedy then there was still a, a whole lot of house cleaning because now we get jose caseco we get mark Witten, everybody's we get a whole new team really and the only base was left was mike greenwell movon and uh roger clemens those were the guys to face those were the all-stars and uh they was the leaders because andre dawson was there also when i was when i got there so they let hawk go and they let a lot of people go. So it was like an overhaul within like just within two years. So 94, then we had the baseball strike. So it was, it was a lot. It was a lot. I mean, but I, 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 I learned how to handle it uh, from, uh, from veterans before to keep it professional and just dealt with it. Wes, uh, before I let you go, you know, what I kind of, kind of throw the, the proverbial floor over to you, anything you want to say, anyone you want to thank, you know, uh, shoot at your social media sites, a uh, uh, anything that you're kind of working on, you want to let people know, uh, you know, where to get involved, where to, where to keep in contact with you. The, uh, the time is yours, my friend. Well, thank you for having me guys. I really enjoyed myself. Um, I, I don't have, uh, much, on my plate. I like it like that because that just keeps our options open. But uh, my website is the West Chamberlain, T H E, the West Chamberlain.com. That's where I get my private baseball and softball lessons. I am located in the Chicagoland area. Uh, my book is titled In the Game. It's on Amazon. It's a quick, it's a quick date. It's only 100 pages. Um, other than that, I mean, hey, I'm just trying to. Get my golf game. I got get my 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 handicap down right now. It's like thirteen or fourteen, so I'm trying to become that scratch player. And hey, <laughs> that's it, man. That's about it.